Our email address is askask at huda.tv Sheikh, I've got a question here uh, from a brother. He says, I'm a new revert, or convert to Islam. Um, I need to find some information, something that's been troubling me since I've become a Muslim, um, about ghosts, manifestations, uh, hauntings and so forth. Um, does, what does Islam say about this, Sheikh? Could you give the brother some advice? Well, Islam teaches us that there is a world which is known as the world of the unseen. Amongst its contents, the angels, the jinn, and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has informed us about the nature of each. Angels are like created them from light versus the jinn were created from fire. As repeatedly Satan said that I'm better than him, than Adam. He created him from mud while he created me from smokeless flame in one ayah, from fire in another ayah, and so forth. Uh, concerning the jinn, which basically what you're referring to, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about their nature, إِنَّهُ يَرَاكُمْ هُوَ وَقَبِيلُهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا تَرَوْنَهُمْ That Satan and his company could see you while you could not see them. And they do have the ability of disguising in any form and shape. And they do have the ability of uh, being presented before you as a human, or as somebody who passed away, or, 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 or. Uh, there is no way of communicating with the jinn with us as humans, as believers, unless some of those who disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and utilize the jinn, as he used to utilize them before Islam to inform them about what's going to happen tomorrow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Jinn that they used to go up and ascend to listen to the writings of the angels with the commands that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is dictating to them to be executed in this following, in this coming year. And they would take one information and they would go down to their allies of the soothsayers or the fortune tellers and they would tell them about one correct information. For instance, there will be an earthquake, seven point whatever, in Japan. And uh, that many people will die. That was ordained to the angels. So they will uh, take this information and they will go to some soothsayer somewhere who has a microphone and will tell the people or write a book that I expect uh, an earthquake to take place in this area. So when it happens, it doesn't mean that he knew the unseen. But he used to be the jinn would overhear the informations from the angels and uh, reveal them to their allies. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stopped that. So the only way of communicating with the jinn through disbelieving in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why there is several uh, methodologies of treatment of uh, uh, Position, or whenever somebody is possessed with the uh, with the jinn, that happens. Uh, Nabi Sallallahu indicated that the best way is through the Quranic verses and the lengthy hadith of uh, uh, Abu Huraira, hadith uh, Satan when he was guarding the sadaqa and he came to him three nights and he was stealing and so on. The third night he said, "Shall I not teach you something that will protect you and will benefit you from every shaitan?" that in the evening say or recite ayat al-kursi. What did the Prophet ﷺ say as a comment on that? He said, Sadaqaqa wa huwa kathub. He spoke in the truth even though he's a great slayer. Do you know who was he? It was a shaitan. So, uh, uh, shaitan, the ghosts, whatever, are very weak when it comes to protecting yourself and immuning yourself with the Quranic verses such as uh, ayat al-kursi, Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayu al-qayyum, surah al-baqarah, the greatest ayah uh, ever, and al-mu'awwidhat, qul huwa Allahu ahad, qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq, and qul a'udhu bi rabbil nas. And if you recite the adhkar of the morning and the evening, beyond that, you're not supposed to think about the jinn and if they could harm you or not, because you're already protected. Nothing would harm you if you recite this adhkar and these verses which are just quoted right now. Jazakallah khair,